Hi, my name is Doug Peterson. I'm the head of R&D here at Digital Transitions, and I'm going to give you a tour of the IQ4 and help you see what comes in the case. So let's first take a look at the outside of the case. This is a Pelican Storm case style uh, case that it arrives in. It has two buttons to release, and before we peek inside, let's just show the handle. The fact that it's on a rollers. It fits most uh, types of airplanes in the overhead, and as a lockable handle for rolling. Just like the IQ4 and the XF itself, the case itself is highly customizable. The first thing you'll notice is that there are two separate physical pouches. And then an area at the top here that is going to be shown later in the video. Let's take a look at how these work. As we open up the main case, we'll see that the lids are fully detachable, so once you've arrived at location, you can fully remove them for easier access. In the main compartment, you'll see a laser cut foam designed specifically for the XF and IQ to sit in. This itself is removable, so you could replace it with another type of laser cut, for example, with a specific lens cut out. There are four batteries, 3,400 milliamp hours each, a Capture One license code. You'll need to scratch that off to use it. Capture One, of course, is always free for use with the digital back, but the Capture One Pro license lets you use it with other cameras like those from Canon, Icon, and Sony, and a warranty card. The warranty card will list your serial numbers, everything that you purchased at the same time, but keep in mind that your warranty is tied to your serial numbers, and as Digital Transitions, uh, as your partner, we're glad to make sure that we can back you up. If there's any warranty claims, you would be talking Digital Transitions, and we'll have your serial numbers on record. Also an XQD card, and an SD card that we'll be looking at more as we get the camera out. In the secondary compartment, you'll see that there are three removable cases. Each of these cases comes with a set of accessories and itself sit inside of a customizable case. The inserts here, as well as the insides of these, are all customizable. So before we dive into specifically what comes in each, let's take a look at one of the very fun ways that we can customize this kit. As we look at the top of the case, we'll see that the entire lid is actually somewhat of a hidden compartment. What ships in that compartment when you receive it, of course, are a variety of different straps and dividers of different sizes. Those can be used to customize the inside part of the case. There's also these very nice looking Velcro labels. We can take one of these and change out what's labeled on a specific compartment. By default, as it arrives from the factory, the system also includes a laptop hood system. You can fold this up, it Velcros out, and the sides Velcro to form a nice viewing area for a laptop. Here you can see the shade provides us good viewing environment, even in brighter light, so we can see our images in the field. If you need even more shading, you'll find that if we fold these back up, there's an additional baffling that we can apply to the system that will give us an even more thorough protection from sun and glare. And that's tucked in right here. If you aren't going to be using the laptop insert, the entire top of the case is Velcroed in, and so you are able to remove it from the back and use that space instead for something else uh, flat and skinny. Now that we've put away the hard case, I'm going to take the soft insert out and we'll take a look at which comes, what comes in each of these three compartments. The power container. The power container includes a cardboard spacer to protect the dual cube. This is a Hanel Pro Cube 2. This will charge two of the batteries at the same time. It provides a readout when it's plugged in of the percentage of current charge and milliamp hours of current charge. And it also includes a USB port. Do note that the USB port only becomes active after all inserted batteries are fully charged. If you're outside of the US or traveling outside of the US, there's a variety of different adapters, which then slide into the AC power adapter for it. That way you can use the same physical charger in different areas of the world. There's also a car charger. The car charger is the only car charger we would recommend. The car charger also provides power to the cube. 
cables. As it comes from the factory, some of the cables will actually be in the accessories kit. Of course, you can repack these and label them as fits your workflow for whatever cables and items you actually bring on site. HDMI, HDMI mini, Ethernet to Ethernet, XQD card slash SD card reader, plus the appropriate cable to connect it to your computer, and a visible dust brand set of cleaners so you can clean the IR filter mounted in front of the sensor. Digital Transitions is glad to provide cleaning as a service to our clients, but it's also not a particularly difficult process if you want to do it on your own. Contact support, we'll be glad to step you through it if you're nervous. And finally, the accessories case. You'll see a USB-C to standard USB, a USB-C to USB-C. Do note that both of the USB-C ends that go into the back actually have a small plastic sheath that ensures the perfect fit into the port. A neck strap and covers for the viewfinder and the body. At the top, you also see covers for the digital back and the body. Most of our clients do pack most of these items attached and together, so you won't need the covers all the time, but they're here in case you need them. There's also a QP card set of white balancing and gray balancing cards. Digital Transitions is very excited to get this into your hands, so you can do your own testing. You can also see the results of a lot of our own in-house testing at phase1iq4.com.